John, thanks. A large fire has destroyed a motel in the Upper Valley that leaves several families looking for a new place to spend the night. WPTC's Renee Wonderlook is live in the newsroom with late details. Renee? Stuart, we saw dozens of fire trucks line that small town's streets. Firefighters worked for hours to extinguish the blaze that demolished an old motel. That's where Red Cross volunteers say five families were living. The volume of fire that we had, the 20 mile an hour winds, this was just impossible to stop. 70 firefighters from all over the Upper Valley responded to the Yankee Village Motel on Route 5 in a scutney, but they could not save it. What started as a nearby brush fire moved too fast. A young juvenile found a uh, cigarette lighter, started a small brush fire. Spreading to the wood frame motel in minutes. A firefighter drove by said it is not a uh, brush fire. As it came in as reported, it was a structure fire. And the uh, four rooms behind me, it's got about 18 rooms, Four of the rooms had uh, fire already in it when we got here within five minutes. No one at the motel was hurt, but one firefighter did suffer an eye injury. Red Cross volunteers were on scene helping the five families displaced by the fire. One gentleman, and he had a long list of medication, which Beth, our nurse, actually helped him with, and oxygen and, you know, vital stuff. Spalding says this was only the latest in a series of fires across the region in recent weeks fueled by dry conditions. We have not had any uh, rain and um, people need to make sure there's no outside burning whatsoever. The town of Weatherstone has got to burn on every fire, any outdoor fire, campfire is, uh, is not allowed and to teach kids fire safety of not using, uh, playing with matches or um, cigarette lighters. Now the chief says the juvenile strongly suspected for starting the fire is speaking with authorities. Live in the newsroom, Renee Wonderlich, WPTZ News Channel 5. Renee, thanks.